okay so let's continue refining where we're at and let's have a look at this top fin to start with so I'm just going to drop back down to my edit of poly I'm not worrying about the other side the symmetry modifier will do that for me and back into the vertex selection mode and go into my front viewport hit alt x so I can see through and let's take a look at what we've got in here so I'm just going to move this guy in a little bit and this one as well and just back in perspective so you can see what's going on looks a bit better and that as well alright down to the bottom fin probably this is gonna look okay for now so we need to do what we did up here which is put this uh, extra loop around the top and we need it around here on the end of this fin so just jumping into our edge mode and grabbing all of these edges just holding down control and I'm clicking here and just right click and connect and let's do the same at the bottom as well so we'll just jump to vertex grab these two right click and connect again do this for both sides Alright, with that done, I can then start moving these guys in just to give it a bit of shape. What I am going to do for this is I'm just going to scroll in my modifier panel and I'm just going to turn on edge constraints uh, just so that I keep in line with this edge when I move it up. You can see it's snapping a little bit, don't worry about that. Just try and wrestle with it and uh, see what you can get. I'm just going to pull this down a bit. looks good. So I'm just trying to give this a little bit of shape before we uh, take it any further. So let's move this in. And down. Alright, that's looking a bit better already. With that said, we really need to, if we jump back to the front viewport, you can see that, you know, this isn't really touching the top just yet. So we need to fix that about now, I think would be good. So I'm going to turn off my edge constraint again, go back to my edge mode, and I'm just going to grab one of these uh, edges, and I'm going to do ring, and you can see that's went all the way around to the bottom, so I can add in another loop right now. So I'm just going to right click, and I'm going to go connect, which we've already done before. Jump back to a front viewport and hit Alt X so I can see through, and let's start moving some of these vertexes vertices whichever way you say it and let's move these up to the top and let's move this one down a bit and let's just start moving these around so it looks a little bit nicer let's see how that does for now and let's move this down and this one as well give it a bit of shape alright so this guy I don't want to move it too much I'm just gonna move it very small amounts and you can see that this isn't you know it, it's pretty difficult from this view to see where this side fins actually going so we're gonna eyeball this again do a best guess on it let's just move this out and let's zoom out a little bit you can see that's not really looking Great, so let's move them down and back a bit. Maybe too much. So that's looking a little bit better right there. And back to my front viewport just to see where this is actually going to. And he comes out across here. So where does that leave me in 3D space? That's not looking too bad. We can move this back a little bit and that'll look a bit better. And I think that's going to be okay, actually. Alright, now this topology around here and at the sides, we've got triangles in already when I wanted quads, but let's not worry about that for now and let's move on to the tail. And let's start 
shaping in this back a little bit. So I think this is way too wide. So I'm pulling this right in. Let's just pull this right in as well. Get this to get some better shape. Top. Let's move this one back a bit. And underneath as well, let's just move this one back. So I'm just worrying about the the shape of the front of this guy and how he's going to look once we put a mesh smooth or a turbo smooth on him because he's obviously not going to look this low poly unless you're making I guess an iPhone game or something you might might have it uh, pretty low poly this could actually work I guess alright let's move this in looks a bit nicer as well and this guy as well he's going to have to move right in maybe even a bit more than what these other guys are and let's push them back. Give this a bit of shape. And likewise again we can oh wrong vertice. Let's move that in and underneath this wall. Okay, cool. Let's not worry about that for now. And with these ones, let's just jump to the front viewport and Let's bring these down. Likewise with this one. So just re-sculpting this a little bit just to make it a little bit nicer. Before we add in that extra loop, which is gonna go to the end down here as well. And you can see, you know, we're missing a big part from here, so maybe we need to pull this all the way across. Let's have a look what that looks like. And that actually looks okay. I'm not too worried about that. I think that should be cool. Alright, so for the moment, instead of running another ring all the way around here, we can just... Actually, we could have one straight in. Let's do it. Let's do it. Alright, so let's get our edge tool. Let's grab these two, or one, and just hit ring. And we can see this goes all the way around to the front, which is really nice. Um, so to keep with the flow of this, rather than doing it by hand and having to pull this back out, we can go to the graphite modeling tools. And when I click this, it's going to take a couple of seconds for it to load and pop down um, the interface menu of this. I really don't like it. That's why I normally have it hidden. Um, and I normally just use my right click menus. I like that a lot better. But this has a very cool tool. Um, and I'm not sure you can get to it any other way. I could be totally wrong, of course. But this flow connect. And if you hover over it and keep your mouse over it, you can see exactly what it does. Um, but a better demonstration is just to do it, and then we can see what happens. So let me just make this a little bit bigger for you guys to see, and then let's just click it and find out. So you can see that it pops up and keeps the flow going of these loops. So if I undo it, you can see this pop back. And if I redo it, you can see it pop forward as well. So it's really nice just to keep the flow of it, and it's... Uh, a lot easier than having to try and do it yourself. So if we do, for instance, on the bottom here, if we just go and bring back our menu, and we go down here and go ring, and we'll need to go around here as well. And this one, so this one isn't uh, ringing properly around all of this topology just purely because of these extra triangles and uh, n-gons that we've got rather than four-sided polygons, but don't worry about those, we'll fix them up. And if I was to go now, and if I right-click and go to connect, you can see that it doesn't keep the nice flow that the top one does, and it just gives me a straight line, which is fine for a lot of things, but this is actually really cool if we can just get the flow going on this without having to worry about it. So with that selected, I think that, and using that is a much better option just for this. Let's bring my interface back and get rid of this graphite modeling tool because I, I really hate it so much. Um, and jump to my front viewport and let's reshape this. So back to vertex. And I'm just going to hit Alt X so I can see. And I'm just going to bring this straight up. Not really worry about it too much for the moment. And let's get that pulled in. Alright, so let's shut this down. Let's take a look at it with symmetry on. And that's looking better already. We've got a lot more loops in there. We need to fix some of these, um, some of the topology issues. And 
but I think you know we're we're on the right stretch for getting this to be a good looking model so uh let's continue in the next lesson